found tiny crystals that had formed in puddles left behind by former ice surfaces that have melted somewhere else. Spöttel and Kröthai found exactly these kind of crystals in the giant ice cave in Werfen. They're tiny calcite crystals, which were long overlooked. They were believed to be particles of sand. In fact, they represent a smoking gun, evidence of earlier ice formations. For the past few years, we've been working very intensively and successfully to show that this vast system of ice caves used to be even larger. The ice crystals not only prove there used to be ice here, it's possible to ascertain exactly how old they are. In the last ice age, the cave used to be even icier several times. We've been able to show that the last major underground glaciation occurred some 12,000 years ago. Had I been a guide back there leading visitors through the cave, the tour would have been five times as long as it is today. The researchers' preliminary findings show, from an aerial perspective, that during the last ice age, the ice extended much deeper into the cave. The ice cave changed as the climate changed. It grew in periods when it was especially cold and then shrank when temperatures rose. What does this mean for the future in light of global warming? The latest measurements suggest that the ice inside the cave is stable. As paradoxical as it might sound, that might be because recent summers have been unusually dry. What would be most damaging would be a rainy summer with relatively warm rain inside the cave. Warm water would supply the warmth to make the ice melt. So in fact, dry hot summers are good for the ice caves, even if they're bad for the glaciers. However, increasingly warm winters do pose a threat to the ice caves. Still, climatologists don't expect any melt in the next few years. Scientists and tourists will be able to marvel at this awe-inspiring natural phenomenon for a while to come.